Welcome back everybody, it's your favorite cow. So my previous Jay Dilla video has been getting some new life lately and you guys really seem to enjoy it. So I'm gonna make another one because you can never get too much Dilla. But this time, let's focus on his drums and how to make those groovy swinging drums you hear on Dilla Beats. Let's get into it. So let's start off with the hi-hats because I think that's the primary thing to get those drums swinging. And I use Ableton, but I'm pretty sure you can apply this to almost any doll. So first things first, you create six eighth notes four five six and next you're going to highlight them and condense them so five of them fit into one beat and the sixth one's more of a placeholder so everything snaps into the beat comfortably and next you're going to mute the second and third hi-hat as well as the fifth one remove the sixth one altogether and copy and paste it across the bar and voila you got some quintuplet swinging hi-hats. They are called quintuplet because they are valued at one-fifth of the bar, as opposed to an eighth note, which is one-eighth. You can also do the same thing with seven, which would be septuplet swing. Use eight hi-hats instead of six, condense them so they seven of them fit into one beat. Keep only one and five. And there you go. Copy and paste it as you did before, and voila, you got some tuplet swing. You can also do triplet swing, which is really easy on Ableton because you can simply convert the whole drum rack to triplet grid and just place your hi-hats as triplets. My preferred method and the method that I hear on most Dilla beats is a quintuplet swing. So let's just focus on that. Another aspect of Dilla's beats is the fact that they aren't quantized. The snare should always be a little bit early and your drum kick should be either a little bit late or a little bit early to kind of replicate a live human natural sound. The best way to do this obviously is to perform it live like Dilla would have done. And I'd be lying to you if I tell you that I live finger drum on more often than not, I do utilize this hack, but this is simply a way to recreate that if your live finger drumming skills aren't up to snuff. So let's just recreate that here. So for the kick and the snare, let's keep the first kick right on the one, the second kick a little bit late, and the snare a little bit early. Copy and paste that across the bar, and let's see how that sounds. Again, you could do all of this live, but if you don't have the confidence or the ability to do so, you could use a simple hack to recreate that swinging Dilla sound. Let me know in the comments what other producers you would like me to cover. And if you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Spotify to hear some of my music. Happy beat making. See you guys next time. Moo moo. Oh.